Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Okay, I'm just going to. Uh, in fact, actually, before I tell you this, I'm just going to apologise that I've not been on. Uh, you know, I've not made any videos for some time now. I've uh, had quite a lot to do, and plus, I've not been too great uh, with a bit of a cold and stuff. And uh, yesterday, I was. Uh, I went and visited a good friend of mine, uh, John, uh, High Voltage Projects, that's his uh, his YouTube uh, name, that's his channel just there, if you want to visit his channel, this chap's just uh, getting himself hold of uh, an X-ray transformer, so uh, he'll be, I'd assume he'll be making some high voltage, more high voltage videos, he's, uh, you know, he likes his Tesla, coil, Tesla coils and stuff, um, he's got 140 subscribers, so I'd, you know, if you can guys, Let's see if we can get that list go up a little bit more. So uh, anyway, as uh, I got this uh, high voltage tripler from uh, John yesterday when I went up to visit him, three hour drive, three hours there and three hours back. Cool, blimey, what a drive! Um, yeah, when he gave me this tripler, he said, "And see if you can get it working." So I've got it working, and so John, if you're watching, mate, I'll show you how I wired it up. And plus, you know, you guys. Uh, if you've not seen one of these before, uh, you know, they're not really that hard to wire up. This wire just here, which goes around into the corner, to this far corner here, this is a ground, which goes to the, the core of the X-ray transformer. I'm putting 40 volts through this, by the way. And just this one here with a cap on it, this goes to uh, a high voltage output, which is the um, filament output of the transformer. And this high voltage, <coughs> high, this quite thick cable, which is the main output, this goes to one of the electrode, you know, the, the output um, standoffs just there. And uh, this one here goes to another unit, which is connected to, so it's got two unit outputs. And this other standoff just here goes to the other output of the X ray transformer. So the normal output for this is normally around about half an inch, uh, 40 volts output. Um, so you can see 40 volts going into it gives out about 10,000 volts output. Maybe a little bit less than that, probably about 8,000 volts. So I'll show you what the uh, output of this is. It's got internal capacitors this has, so uh, when you've start you know you powered this x-ray transformer and it puts a voltage into it and you arc with it and then you turn it off and then you short the wires out you get uh, quite a nice little pop crackle so I'll just get these out there you go I'll show you what the arcs are <coughs> just over an inch that See the wires shuddering. Then we can see it on camera. This one gives you an output as well. The other wire, the other output from the tripler. Should have put a black background behind it so you can see it better. I love that hum.
that's what the arc normally looks like from the transformer at 40 volts it's pretty cool eh guys <coughs> yes yeah, so, so uh, leaving this to the you know talking about something else at the minute um, yeah sorry about I've not uh, showed you guys the large transformer that I built with the big standoffs um, I've got to replace the transformer in it because unfortunately the transformer uh, has a, some sort of damage to it internally from uh, from the equipment it used to be connected to before I had it um, so uh, I mean it, it works well to, to it does but as soon as I turn the voltage any more than that it, I, I, can, I can hear it inside you can see it here in arcing internally so I've got to uh, replace it with another 120 kV transformer that I uh, recently purchased off eBay so uh, you know uh, once I've replaced the transformer I'll uh, you know be be uh, uploading some some good videos so I apologize if I've not been online lately guys you know uh, like I promised with it uh, from from the last video I did with the uh, you know the arc lightning uh, with that uh, capacitor that I put in between the two electrodes and the, the half pipe that I made up uh, as an, a capacitor ever uh, once I start to turn it up any more than that it I just get an awful noise coming from the, in the inside of it so I've got to take all the oil out of it take that transformer out of it put some more oil into it give it a good vacuum and um, you know reseal the unit back up and connect it up and reseal it should I say so so I, I do apologize guys you know it's uh, it's a bit of a bugger really a bit of a letdown that transformer I mean it's, it's good for for so much you know with the the arcs and stuff I can get quite much out of it but not to what I expected so bit of work to do again on it so so I hope you guys are safe uh, you know and looking after yourselves and uh, thanks for watching my videos and you know give me all the support you do guys with the comments and stuff so uh, thanks for watching look after yourselves and we'll speak again bye